When I was in college, I started to become obsessed with a certain pop star. I never thought I'd be so passionate about anything in my life. I happened to watch one girl's performance on TV. I don't know what it was, but something about her instantly grabbed me and wouldn't let go. I couldn't figure out why, but Natsu from that pop group just hit me differently. From the moment I laid eyes on her, I was head over heels in love. I don't know if it was love at first sight or what, but from that day on, I was a lifelong fan. I bought all her CDs, went to every concert, and today, I was about to meet her for the first time. I was one of the lucky winners of a ticket to a signing event where she was giving away select copies of her newest photo album. I'd never looked forward to anything more in my entire life. I cut my hair, started working out, and bought fashionable clothes, all in preparation for this day. If I was going to meet someone so perfect, I needed her to see the coolest version of myself I could possibly be. Thanks for coming! I definitely want to see you at the next concert! Here I was, next in line to meet Natsu. She smiled and waved as the last person in front of me walked away. She was so cute! She was completely different in person! Her features were so beautiful and elegant, and her voice gave me chills! I felt more nervous than I'd ever been! Hi there, um, is this your first time meeting me? Uh, that's right! Nice to meet you! Hey, thank you so much! You're my absolute favorite member of your unit! Aw, you mean it? I saw you performing on a music TV show last year, and I fell in love at first sight! Aw, that's so cute! <laughs> thank you! Okay, you want a signature, right? Yes, please! What's your name? What? You know, so I could personalize it. Oh, I get it. You can make it out to Yuto Nijima. Got it. Yuto, right? And here you go. Wait, Yuto? Hmm? Oh, that's right. Uh, is something wrong? Hey, Yuto. Yes? How old are you? Uh, 19? I apologize if this is way off base, but you wouldn't happen to be born in the countryside, would you? Wow, how'd you know? I actually moved to Tokyo for college. Did my accent give it away or something? Yeah, that must be it. And here you go. <sighs> Thank you so much. No problem, the pleasure's all mine. See you soon, Yuto. Soon? Oh yeah, see you. And that was the end of my first signing. Wow, I can't believe it. She really was so different in person. But it was strange. I felt like I'd seen her somewhere before. Excuse me. Huh? Yes? Are you Yuto Nijima? Yes, that's me. Why? Sorry to bother you, but I'm Natsu's manager. Please call me Kuroiwa. Can I help you with something? Would it be possible to have a moment of your time? Um, uh, did I do something wrong? Natsu, would you like to speak to her in private headquarters? She would. Could you please wait until the signing event is over? Of course, I don't mind. But why? Thank you. Please follow me. An hour after that, I waited in the room Natsu's manager brought me to, and soon, Natsu appeared in front of me again. Oh, I'm so glad you're here! Thanks for waiting! Sure. I hadn't seen you in so long. What a surprise to see you here! And you're so good at pretending you! Even I almost was fooled! So long? You? Um, what's going on? Oh, come on! Wait, are you serious? You weren't acting back there? You really hadn't realized yet? Realized what? It's me, remember? Uh, why wouldn't I? You're a famous pop star. 
Of course I am, but not that, silly. I'm so confused. Come on, it's me, Natsumi Matsume. We went to kindergarten together. Don't tell me you forgot about me. Natsumi Matsumai? Wait, you're Tsutsu? Yep, Tatsu! God, it's been ages since I've heard that nickname. I thought it had to have been a hidden camera show or something seeing you after so long. But now that you're telling me, you really had no idea it was me the whole time. What? I couldn't believe my ears! I'd never been so surprised in my entire life! How was I supposed to even realize the pop star I loved more than anything else was actually my friend I hadn't talked to in over 10 years? Now it all makes sense. I couldn't have been more oblivious to why I was so instantly charmed by her the moment I saw her. After all, Natsumi Matsumai, uh, Tsutsu, was my first crush. Throughout my entire life from elementary school to college, I had no luck with girls, but things were different for me before that. Back then, there was one girl my age who I was closer with than with anyone else, Natsumi Matsumai, or as I called her then, Tsutsu. She and I were best friends, and we were practically inseparable. We played house together. Okay, today's dinner is dirt baseballs and sand miso soup. Wow! That looks so yummy! Here you go! Eat up! Thank you! Nom 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 nom! How is it? So yummy! Yay! Yay! We went treasure hunting together? You wait! Oh, sorry, Tsutsu! Was I too fast? Uh huh. Okay! I'll go slower then! Thank you. You're so nice, you! <laughs> we played tag together! Wait! Ah. Don't run away! No, oh, go away! I hate you! Don't come any closer! Hey! You're being mean! It was so fun. Back then, I thought those carefree days would last forever. But they were just as suddenly gone. Bye-bye, you. Bye-bye. You be good. You too, Tsutsu. She had to move to a faraway town because of her parents' jobs. Next time we meet, well... Okay. My memories of that time are hazy, so I don't remember what it was that she said we'd do exactly. I just remember the piercing loneliness I felt having to say goodbye to my first crush. That's a feeling I've never been able to forget. <laughs> well, here we are together again. Yeah. Hmm? What's wrong? Oh, is it about the promise we made back then? Promise? You forgot that too? Sorry. Oh, well, I guess it has been more than 10 years since then. But you don't know how happy I am to see you again here. Yeah, me too. So? So? What? Are you happy that I became so pretty since the last time you met me? I think I'm more nervous than anything else, honestly. Oh yeah, you said I was your favorite pop star, right? Yeah. I'm glad to hear that, though. So, wanna exchange contact info? Is that okay? Why wouldn't it be? I mean, you're a famous pop star, right, Tsutsu? So what? Actually, that's not true. Why not? Maybe Natsu is a famous pop star, but Tsutsu is just your old friend. So if you exchange contact with Tsutsu, that's a whole nother story, right? That's true. It's settled then. Honestly, there's so much I want to catch up with you on about. But I really have to go and film this TV performance right now. Oh, wow. Good luck. So, I'll see you around, okay? Yeah. See you. When we parted ways this time, 
there wasn't any loneliness or hard feelings. In fact, after that, the two of us would often find time to hang out. We went out in public, of course, but since her place was constantly shadowed by paparazzi, we'd often go back to my apartment. Oh, wow, you really are a huge fan of me. Everywhere I look, I see my merch. I told you. Hey, wasn't that poster over there a wind bowl from a raffle? Uh, don't remind me. I had to buy so many tickets. Well, since I'm here, you want me to sign it for you? Hmm? Huh? You don't like the idea? Well, I mean, I do want you to. I really, really do. But... 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 I'm just supposed to be meeting with my friend, Tsutsu, now, aren't I? Oh, yeah. So if I cross that boundary and start treating you like a fan, I feel like that's against the rules, right? You're so serious. Me? You're the one who suggested this in the first place, though. <laughs> Touché. No autographs, then. No autographs. What's the matter? I just feel so conflicted about this. Like, I'm so close but so far at the same time. Sorry, but you've had your chance. You can ask as nicely as you want, but I won't sign anything anymore. I know. If I want a signature, I'll follow the same rules as everyone else. We also watched her concert performances together. Pause the video! Right there! You see it? There! All right, all right, calm down. Down, boys, stay. How am I supposed to stay calm when I see something like that? Like what? I don't see anything special. You don't? Nope, not at all. Looks completely normal to me. So, tell me what you see. I see the flawless face of my flawless favorite. Isn't it just perfect? Hmm, you like this angle, huh? I guess so. But my favorite part is at 1 hour, 23 minutes, and 53 seconds, when you... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah? What's wrong? You remember the exact time code down to the second? Of course I do. Ugh, you're such a geek. Ah! You are! That's going way too far. Is it? Well, at least that's what I'd say as your friend. Yeah. I get it. I won't say anything weird anymore. But as a pop star, it made me happy to know you're such a passionate fan of my work, I guess. Wait, are you blushing? So what if I am? I'm getting some mixed messages here between your words and your attitude. Forget about that. So, are you coming to my next concert? Absolutely. I already got the tickets and everything. I'm sure you know this already, but you're not getting any special fan service, okay? I wouldn't have it any other way. But I'll be looking for you cheering in the audience. You don't have to tell me twice! I was already planning on being the biggest fan there anyway! That's what I like to hear. One day, while we were having a meal together... I had no idea you were such a good cook, you! I'm living on my own, so I wanted to do it right. That's so cool! I honestly respect that so much! I just end up going out all the time. I'm way too poor to do anything like that. Really? But you seem to have enough to afford all this merch of me. Why do you think I'm so poor in the first place? Oh... Maybe it's not my place to say, but you don't have to be such a loyal fan all the time, you know? Yeah, yeah. But I'm doing this because I want to show my own support, so it's fine. And besides, just because I'm cutting back on food, it doesn't mean I'm not eating at all. As long as you're healthy. I should be the one apologizing to you for forcing you to eat my poverty meals. You're not forcing anything. This is really good. It's the same quality as any restaurant. I mean it. Come on, it's not that good. It is, though. You should cook for me again sometime. I'd love to. Yay!
Hey! I was so happy. I was having just as much fun as I was back in my kindergarten days, if not more. But one day... Hmm? That's strange. What is? I don't usually see you reading. You make it sound like I've never picked up a book in my life. Oh no, sorry. That wasn't what I meant. I know, I know, I was just kidding. But you're right, I don't really read work stuff while I'm here. So what is it? Oh, this? It's the script for a TV show. You mean it? Yep, get ready, because you're gonna be seeing Little Old Natsu premiere acting debut. It's gonna be a two-hour TV special from 9pm. Seriously? That's amazing! Right? So I know it's sudden, but wanna take a peek? No, 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 I don't, I don't. Don't tell me anything about it! You really are too serious. It's sometimes really annoying. Maybe I am, but I want to see your amazing performance as a fan, too. I don't want to know any spoilers before that. Fine, fine. Someone looks happy. Obviously! I'm going to record it and watch it every day until I memorize every single line and know every detail! You don't have to watch that much. Yeah, I know. That was totally a joke. Somehow I'm not convinced. That's 100% sounds like something you do. But if you look forward to it that much, that means I know I have to give it my all. I'm sure you will. Break a leg out there. Thanks. I'll do my best. I'm just worried about the kiss scene, though. Oh, wow. Wait, what? Did you just say kiss scene? Yep. With who? Not telling. You said you didn't want any spoilers. But that was before I knew about this. So, hey. Yeah? Are you actually gonna kiss the other person? Like, not just pretend? Of course, it's actually gonna be for real. But I've never even kissed someone before. I'm a little bit worried about it. You haven't? No, I was saving my first kiss for someone special, okay? Oh. Are you happy to hear that? I guess so, but... Uh, to be honest, I was pretty shocked. The thought terrified me that Sutsu's first kiss would end up being some handsome actor on a movie set. My thoughts spiraled around in my head as my world crumbled around in front of me. I felt like I was about to puke! My stomach churned, and I could almost taste my lunch as if it was making its way back up my throat. Tears welled up, and I felt a pain in the back of my eyes. Oh, you, are you crying? What's wrong? I'm not crying. You're totally crying. I'm not! Was it that much of a shock? I said I'm not crying. Um, I'm sorry, okay? It's nothing to worry about. You can't do anything about it if it's work, right? I guess, but I lied, okay? There is a kiss scene, but it's between the two main characters. I'm not part of it. What? Sorry, I only wanted to tease you a little bit, I swear. Oh, you're crying even more now. I told you I'm not. You obviously are. Nope. My eyes are as dry as the Sahara! These weren't tears. I was just sighing in relief. That was all. They absolutely weren't tears! You're so freaking stubborn. You can call it whatever you like. Let me remind you, I am a pop star. What does that have to do with anything? My agency forbids me from any romance even kissing. But if it's just acting for a TV show, then it's fine, right? I guess that's true. So even if you're not kissing someone now, it doesn't rule out the possibility you will sometime in the future, right? Hmm? Is that jealousy I detect? Why are you so happy about this? Am I? 
I was just thinking that you may have forgotten your promise, but you seem like you have so much envy about it anyway. That again? I told you, I don't remember! It's still a secret. A woman never kisses and tells, you know. That's definitely true if she doesn't kiss at all. What are you talking about? That's for me to know, and you to never find out. But I'm feeling nice, so I'll give you one hint. Okay... All I'll say is that I've already reserved my first kiss a long time in advance. What's that supposed to mean? Come on, I practically already gave it away just now, didn't I? Well, I guess you still wouldn't get it, huh? After all, even though I'm a pop star, I've been over to your place alone how many times now? I know we're friends, but still... I really don't understand what you're talking about, though! Yeah, yeah, that's fine, though. You can stay in the dark until I finish up being a pop star and can start dating again. It was just a faraway memory. One that I, Yuto Nijima, forgot, but Natsumi Matsumai never did. Bye-bye, you! Bye-bye. You be good. You too, Tsutsu. Next time we meet, we'll kiss, okay? Okay. It's a promise, okay? I love you, you! Thank you for watching! How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well!